it was my first day of classes. Um, I had come home for lunch. You know, I was running a little late, and um, I just started heading down, I call it North Quincy. And um, I came head on with the incident. It was a red light, and I was actually talking on my cell phone to my mom, and I said to myself, why the hell isn't traffic moving? <laughs> You know, and um, just then I had seen a police car. He took a left, and I actually I thought he spun out. So I was like thinking in my head, oh, you know, sir, I'm right for driving so fast. You know, I didn't know what the hell he was doing. And then that's when I heard the gunshots. I, you know, it was a, a ton of gunshots. And I know from common knowledge, like. A gun usually holds about six rounds, maybe. But this was way more than that. Just then, the van had come around his cop car and um, the black van. And sideswiped a couple of cars at the interse intersection, went head on with the third car down. And uh, he got out and started shooting. I keep hearing people say he gave himself up. He did not give himself up. He got out and was still shooting. And when he ran out of his ammunition, he dropped his gun, tried running, and then the cops got him. During all that, all the shooting, I had gotten out of my car with it in drive, and because uh, I saw the accident and I thought to help the people, I, I didn't know what was going on really yet. So um, I got out, and when I got out to help the people, I'm now in the middle of the intersection, cops on one side, him on the other. And um, that's when he started shooting. So then I was like, oh my God, I need to get behind the cop cars. Yeah. And he shot out the window. He was shooting, you know, the windshield and everything as I was ducking behind. He Did it seem real? No. No. I was thinking he was going to shoot the cop car and it was going to blow up with me sitting behind it. Yeah. He put his hands on my shoulders and was like, it's okay. You know, it's over. They got him. Are you all right? Did you get hit? I didn't even know if I was hit because I was so, my adrenaline was pumping. I, I had no idea what was going on. You know, I thought I was shot because I don't know how I escaped that many bullets flying through the air from the cops and from Keith, you know, but um, I was fine. And, you know, I told him that.